July 7th, 2017. Hi, my name is Samantha Perkins. My old friends used to call me Sam. And I'm 16 years old, and I'm a runaway. When most people hear the word runaway, they often wonder what it is exactly that I'm running away from. Well, in this case, it's not that I'm running away from something. It's that I'm trying to run to a better future. I lived with my Aunt Maria since I was really little, and I don't ever remember a good day with her or her ever smiling at me, and if she ever did smile, it was one of those cold, fake kind of smiles. Life with Aunt Maria wasn't truly unbearable until she got married when I was 14. Her husband was even more depressing and cold than she was, and it was awful. Then, a year later, she and I got into a fight. I was just so done with her that I ran away. I grabbed a couple layers of clothes and my bike, and I rode off into the summer evening, and I was so proud to have left her that I didn't even notice how cold it was. It's been about a year since I ran away, and I've stayed in so many different places. I've slept on buses, under trees, in houses of very sweet people who brought me to their homes, and some nights I just stay under the stars. I know my life sounds like a romanticist dream, and you know, for the most part, it can be, but it is not easy at all. Most days I spend reading people's newspapers, looking for job advertisements and places that need an extra hand. Other days it's just about food and a place to sleep. Most recently, I live in a tree house on Maple Street, in the backyard of a family known as the Bensons. They're a fairly wealthy family. You see, Mr. Benson is a doctor, and Mrs. Benson is a lawyer. They have one daughter, named Laura Benson, who is the sweetest girl I've ever met. She's around 10, I think. And she's let me stay in their treehouse for a few months now. When I can't find food, she brings it to me. And when I'm cold, she brings me a blanket and a coat. She must have had everything she could ever want growing up. And yet, she seems to see her blessings as a way to bless others. Not that it makes her better than me. The best thing about running away is the fact that I feel like my own person now. And of course, that means that I have more responsibility than ever. But it's still such a freeing feeling. I hope to make it to New York soon to be a writer. Of course, not finishing high school and not actually being able to have a job makes that dream seem so far out of reach. But some people have been incredibly helpful to me during this time. Laura Benson has even given me a few journals to write in so I can get my practice. I hope I make it to New York someday. And if I do, I want to be just like Laura Benson. Caring, selfless, and an all-around incredible person. I don't think I'll ever forget Laura Benson and the things she did for me.